Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics class. In this class, we are solving the university question paper of Kerala Technical University (KTU). We are drawing the solving the first question right now. In this video, we will be solving the questions in the first module. First module. Okay. Problem one. Problem one says that line M N has got its elevation length 55 mm. That is elevation length equal 55. The NDM is 15 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of EP. The NDN is 35 mm above HP. The true length is 70. These are the one, two, three, four, five. These are the five informations given. You are asked to draw the projections and find out the inclination of the line, true inclinations of the line. That is the actual inclination of the line to the reference planes. What are they? They are theta and phi. That's the question. Okay, let's try this. First of all, we will locate the NDM. 15 mm above is M dash, and uh, 20 mm below is M. So this is 15. This is 20. Agree? Okay. Then 35 mm above, draw a horizontal line. How far is this? Is thirty five. Thirty five mm above. Okay. Now the elevation length of the line is given fifty five. Take fifty five in your compass and cut an arc. This is B dash. What is what is M dash B dash? M dash B dash is the final elevation of the line. That is the given elevation of the line. M dash B dash is the elevation of the line. This distance is 55. The elevation length that is given in the question. Okay. On this projector, on this projector, you have got the plan of the end B that is smaller somewhere. We don't know where it is. Okay. What you are used? You are used to this. You are used to this. You have used to this. Now what is left is true length. That is the only thing left. True length is the only thing thing left now. Okay. Now take the true length in your compass. You know this is the locus, no? This is the locus of B. I mean, this is not B. This is N. N dash. M dash. N dash. Okay. This is the locus of N. So you take true length seventy in your compass and with M dash as center cut an arc. This is what you call as. N one dash and that is N one dash. This is the true length. M dash N one dash. This is the true length. So this is what true length equals seventy. Now, if this is true length, you can you will get the plan parallel to the line. If the elevation is true length, plan is parallel to the line. Now, so with M. On or through M, draw a horizontal line and drop N1 dash down. Drop N1 dash down. What is this? This is N1. And what is this distance? This is called the plan length. If this is N1, this is called the plan length. N1 plan. Where is actually the plan of the NDN? Plan of the NDN will lie on this projector. Plan of the NDN will lie on this projector. This is N dash, so N will can be contained in the same projector. This is the plan length. So where is N? M as center, M N one as radius, cut an arc. This is N. Again, if that is N, what is this? M N. M N is the plan of the line. M N is the plan of the line. M dash N dash is the elevation. M N is the plan. So you are drawn the projection. When you are asked to draw the projections, you are drawn the projection. Now what you are asked? You are asked to find out theta and phi. You are asked to find out. You are asked to find out the value of theta and phi. What is this angle? This angle is theta. This angle is theta. When the elevation is true length, it will make theta to x y now. Now you have to find out what phi. How do you find phi? You draw a locus through n.
Royal Locust Royal, take the 2917 year compass and the MS Center Katana. This is what? N2. And if that is N2, what is this? If that is N2, this is uh, already this is 2970, and therefore this angle is called phi. This angle is called phi. So that's the solution. You can measure theta equals measure given angle, phi equals given answer, given answer. Now, this question is a very simple question. I do not know the correct values of theta and phi. I will draw them into dimensions and add the results at the end of this answer. Okay. Now, coming to question 2. Question 2 says, question 2 says that AB is in first quadrant, A is 20 mm in front of EP. B is 60 mm in front of VP, theta is 30 degrees, HT is 10 mm above HP. You are asked to draw the projections and find out true length and PT. Okay, let's solve that question. Locate A. 20 mm in front and 60 mm in front or 7. The question says the projectors are 75 mm apart. A, B is in first quadrant. A is 20 mm in front of VP. B is 60 mm in front of VP. Theta is 30 and the projectors are projectors are 75 mm apart. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Projectors are 75 mm apart. So 75 mm away draw a projector. Draw a projector, 75 mm, this is 75 and on that projector, on that projector, 60 mm below, locate B. So what is AB? AB is the plan of the line. This is 60, I mean, uh, we don't know how much, uh, what is the line, this is 60, this is 60. This is 20, this is 60 and this is the plan. Agreed? Then what is given? So this you are used, this you are used. Uh, this you are used. Now, HT is 10 mm above HP. So, 10 mm above HP line, draw a horizontal line. This line contains HT. You also know that HT will always lie on the extension of the plan. So, extend the plan. Extend the plan. So, what is this? This is HT. This is HT, this is Tanam. This is HT. You also know, you also know that by trapezoidal construction, by trapezoidal construction, at the point code HT, the angle between the plan and the true length is theta. At HT, the angle between this plan and the true length obtained there is theta. And the value of theta is given 30 degrees. So at HT, draw a line at theta. Draw a line at the theta. What is theta? Theta is 30. This is theta equals 30. And you know that if you draw a perpendicular to A, it will cut this. If you draw a perpendicular to B, it will cut this, this is 90 degrees, this is 90 degrees and this is what, this must be true length, capital A1, B1, that must be true length, agreed? Now, you are used everything that is available, you are used A, you are used B, you are used the distance between the projectors, you are used theta, you are used this T, position of HT. Now, with this much, you have to proceed. You know by trapezoidal construction, this distance is taken from 
taken this what is this distance this distance is the distance from xy and a dash and this distance is the distance uh, distance of xy from b dash and you are also said that the line is in first quadrant when the line is in first quadrant the elevation must be above xy line take this distance and mark on this projector take this distance and mark on this projector what do you get you get a dash take this distance and mark on this projector what do you get you get b dash this distance and what is a dash b dash a dash b dash is the elevation agreed a dash b dash is the elevation so you are asked to draw the projections now you have drawn the projection now you are asked to find out what true length and vt this already is true length a1 b1 is true length where is vt vt you can easily find out by extending the elevation this is this is the extension of the plan this is v small v draw a vertical line through small v extend the elevation this point is vt this point is vt now if you are asked to find out phi also you can go for a trapezoidal construction here and this you will get vt as well as phi uh, unfortunately in the question the value of phi is not asked only true length and vt is there vt are there true length vt and phi are not there if phi is also asked you can go for a trapezoidal construction so that you get phi simple question simple question not a difficult question okay thank you